It's not just at the end of the day when I go on my phone that I have that kind of reinforcement. It means throughout the day when I'm speaking to people, we're all a little bit more mindful about how should we be treating each other and ourselves as people. Hi, I'm Amanda Yasinowski and I'm the Director of Marketing at Tech in Asia. The pandemic has affected me quite personally in my time at Tech in Asia because when I onboarded, people were mostly working from home and that was a unique circumstance that actually was much more challenging than I could have anticipated. And I think that's one thing that I try to keep in mind as our team is growing, that it is difficult to join a team and never see the faces of the people you work with. Prior to using intellect, I tried very hard to be quite mindful about mental health. So I would say I really tried to prioritize things like every morning starting with some time just to myself, whether that's a routine of yoga or coffee or going for a walk. And I still try to maintain those things day to day, but now with the benefit of intellect at the end of every day. I use intellect for my own personal well-being. I've used quite a few of the self-guided sessions. I I think I have gone through four of them now. And what I like about them is you have the option of selecting different things you want to improve on. And some of those things might be anxiety. Some of those things might be understanding how other people behave when they are feeling things like anxiety. So I've been using it and I think I will continue to try to finish all of them because there's quite a spread of things that you know when it's something in front of you so plainly stated that you can be improving on. I try to make sure we're sensitive to it. And I do share how my experience has been benefited by intellect. It's been super helpful is I think mental health, especially as part of a work culture, is one of the hardest things anybody can try to tackle. And by giving everybody a common denominator to be working, working with in their own way, in their own time, just to have that as a talking point has really opened people up, I think, at least from what I've seen, in teams to just talk about how they're doing not just at the end of the day when I go on my phone that I have that kind of reinforcement. It means throughout the day when I'm speaking to people, we're all a little bit more mindful about how should we be treating each other and ourselves as people. The Tech in Asia work culture, a very genuine one. If you look on their website, it will state pretty plainly in black and white that they care about people, not just business. But Actions speak louder than words, and it's one of the few environments I've ever seen where on a day-to-day -day basis, those actions speak even louder than those words. And if anything, mental health should be a norm.